G'day guys, I've come across this uh, Zen Coding plugin. It's really um, a plugin for any number of uh, text editors. Um, I have it plugged into TextMate, but if you go to the Downloads section, um, you'll notice that there are um, plugins for just about any development environment on both platforms that you could want, so you should be right to go. Now what it really does is it allows you to use short expressions like div, for instance, and expand them out. Command E is the keyboard shortcut for, for TextMate, and I end up getting a structured div. Well, that's nice, but not too exciting. Just undo that. What it also has it is it really honours, if you like, CSS uh, type syntax. So if I want a div with an ID of main, I get that. Undo again. But I can actually use selectors like um, I want to ch create a child div with perhaps, I don't know, um, this can be a header. Oops, sorry. And I mold a sibling to that, which might be the main content div, and perhaps even a div for a footer. So in one simple string like that, if I expand that out, I get this beautifully structured HTML. And you might even notice that the tab triggers are really nice, so I can simply tab through, or now shift tab to go back, inside those div points, which makes it really quick. Um, let me go for another example. I'm going to create a navigational div now. Now I tend to use unordered lists um, for my nav, so I'm going to do that. So an unordered list with list items and an anchor within that, expand, and I get that. That's really nice and quick. However, this is the nice bit. Um, it tends to be that you don't just want one navigational item, but you might want ten. So I'm just going to say, well look, I want ten allies please. And there it goes. So that's really, really quick. Another beautiful little feature is perhaps I want each one of those allies to have a unique um, class. So I'm going to maybe do this. And I want the class to um, include the number, its uh, index number. And so I just put a dollar symbol in to indicate that. Now if I expand that out, have a look what I've got. So with that one string, here's the ID of nav, it's got an unordered list inside that, uh, 10 list items, each with its own unique class ID, sorry, class, and the anchor tags within it, and very, very quick. Now, there's another way to approach this, which is perhaps even more elegant. If I've got perhaps the, the framework of what I want to become, my navigation, something like that, just some text basically, but I want to wrap that all in a series of, of tags. I can use another command, Command Shift A on TextMate, and I'm going to wrap with abbreviation. And I'm going to say, well, I want this inside a div, which is a nav, inside an unordered list. Oops. Each item is then an ally, and to indicate I want a line for each item, I just re-include that star symbol, and then each item within an A tag. Okay, and you'll see what's happened. It's wrapped each line into its own ally, into its own anchor tag, and it's fully structured up, and I can now just use those tab triggers to go through and edit that content. So it's really, really quick. Um, as well as doing HTML, it can also do XML, um, same way really. Um, it, it can do CSS, and I think I've seen examples of other development languages as well. So I think as a framework, um, I think we're going to see this more and more expanded out, but it can make life very, very quick. Okay, so I hope that's useful to you.